Happy Wednesday. How you doing? Hey, today I want to talk to you about three things that will make you wealthy. Three things. Three easy steps that will make you wealthy. You want to be wealthy? <clears throat> I do. I'm not, I don't make any bones about it. Amen. I want to be a major blessing to God's people. And you're not going to be a major blessing to anybody if you're broke. <clears throat> you're not going to pay the bills. You can't even pay your own bills if you're broke. A lot of people in this country, half the people in this country, <clears throat> 150, 160 million, more than that even, can't pay their bills. Amen. They can't pay their bills. I want you to be wealthy, to live the abundant life that God wants us to live. Say this with me on this happy Wednesday. And today is a happy day because you're going to learn how to get rich. Three easy ways, three, three easy steps. We've been talking about it. I'm going to keep talking about it because I want you to get a hold of this. Amen. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. I am beautiful. Everything works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. <clears throat> I'm not doing this confession for you. I'm doing it for me. Because I need to talk like that about myself. That's why I take you through this every day. So I can say it over myself. How many of you know that I don't just teach people to do this stuff. I do all this myself. Amen. I don't just speak the blessing over you. I speak it over me. And over my family. Amen. Just like Isaac spoke it over his family. Abraham spoke it over his family. Jacob, before he died, spoke blessings over his family. He blessed them and stood up when he was be right before he died and leaned on his staff and blessed his family and his grandchildren. Now, that's how important these blessings are, folks. He risked his life for the blessing and he passed it on. Glory to God. Share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know who is sick and broke to call me. We have had miracle, miracle healings, folks, right over the phone. There is nothing that the power in the name of Jesus won't do. It gets people jobs. Finds things for people. <laughs> well, I've got an incredible track record at getting things found for people. Pastor Jim, I lost my wallet. Pastor Jim, I lost my purse. I left my purse in the store. I can't find it. Go back to the store. There it was. Somebody lost their phone. Go back to the store. There it was. <clears throat> Angels, I don't know how that works, but I do know they find it. Keys, we can find those too. Amen. God is concerned about the, everything in your life. Everything in your life. Three things that will make you rich. Now, there's everybody's got a list of things that will make you rich. Dave Ramsey and all these people, you know, the Crown Financial and all these prosperity preachers out there, they got a list. I'm going to give you some of the stuff on their list. They say you have to have a money mindset. You have to have a rich, a wealth, a wealth mentality. That's true. Some of these are true. You have to have a financial plan, they say. You have to have a budget. I have never had a budget. I used to know this lady that I worked with. And she was always sitting at her desk working on her budget. And poor thing didn't make much money. She had a, a son. And she'd sit there and work on her budget. And she'd say, well, I make this much and my electric bill is this much. And she lived, she had a poverty mindset because <clears throat> she was adding up these little numbers. And I always felt so bad for her. 
<clears throat> I would give her a ride home at night if I was, because she lived up the street from where I lived. And so if I was going home about the time she did, I'd give her a ride home. So she wouldn't have to pay for a bus or anything. Another thing is, live below your means, they say. Huh? Boost your current income, they say. Now, you can try to boost your current income, or you can let God boost your current income. I prefer to let the Lord boost my income. Amen? Invest your money. Or, that's all the natural stuff. These people are all teaching natural stuff. Or, you can let money come to you. Which would you rather do? All that stuff? Or, let the money come to you. Huh? Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who gives thee power to get wealth. <clears throat> that word power means a force. A force that causes money and good things to come to you. David said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Believe me, folks, he's talking about material things. I always have to read that psalm at funerals. Oh, Pastor Jim, the 23rd Psalm was his favorite psalm. The guy probably heard it twice. Can you read that? I say, oh, sure. Oh, sure. And I'm thinking, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. See, they, re they read it like this. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I read it like this. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want because I have everything I need. That's how I read that. Amen. It's totally different. Huh? I'm praising God when I read that. 23rd, third Psalm, David is praising God. Huh? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Oh my goodness. Is this good? Huh? He talks about, he leadeth me. He leadeth me beside the still waters. You know, he restores my soul. Huh? He leadeth me into green pastures. God's sheep eat gourmet grass. Green pastures is the very best grass there is. My cup runneth over. Doesn't God know when the cup is full? No, he doesn't. He just runs it over. When God starts to pour out the blessing to you, folks, it will run over. Amen. Three things that will make you wealthy and cause your cup to run over. God takes pleasure in your prosperity. Beloved, above all things, it is my wish that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. What I'm doing with these videos, in case you haven't noticed, is I am prospering your soul. Because when I prosper your soul, your finances are going to follow. That's the way it works. That's what the Bible says. You're going to prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. So if we prosper your soul, your finances and your health are going to follow. You're not going to accept sickness if you're watching these videos. You're not going to accept poverty and lack if you're watching these videos. No, because your soul is prospering and so will you. Three things that will make you wealthy. Number one, watch your words. Watch your words. The power of positive words. My book on the law of attraction, according to Jesus, is all about words. I wrote two books on it. 
the power of positive words and the law of attraction, according to Jesus. Both of those have to do with what comes out of your mouth. What comes out of your mouth determines your life. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Your tongue has the power of life and death. Use it to heal your body and use it to prosper your bank account. Watch your words. Number two, the curse must be broken. Don't tell me Christians can't be cursed. You go look around you. Look at your friends. Do you see sickness? Do you see poverty? Curse, curse, curse. These are curses. Read Deuteronomy 28. These are all curses. They should not be in the lives of God's people. It says in Deuteronomy 28, these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. All that in there is Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 through 68 are curses. Thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. That's a curse. All kinds of sickness and disease, that's a curse. It's part of the curse. The first thing I do is break the curse because the curse allows demons and devils to get in there and cause sickness and poverty in your life. It gives them permission. Read my book on how to break curses. Once these curses are broken, these spirits of sickness and disease and poverty will leave because they no longer have permission to be in your life. These understand that everything is subject to spiritual laws, including the demons. They can't go against spiritual laws. They cannot be in your life without permission. So when we break the curse of the law, we break the whole program at one time. The entire program of the devil is found in the curse of the law and breaking the curse of the law totally removes the devil from your life and allows God's blessing to flow. God's blessing cannot flow into your life as long as those curses are there. If your finances are cursed, I guarantee you we're not going to get them blessed. We're not going to get them blessed as long as that curse is in place. But the curse is subject to the name of Jesus. That's the secret. That's what God showed me eight and a half years ago. And, in, and since then, I've become rich. I'm not the least bit embarrassed about it because I was able to break the entire curse. Kenneth Copeland did the same thing. In 1967, he stood up and said, curse, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. And I'm telling you, the entire curse of the law left his life. And the blessing started to flow. Go back and watch his archives in the Believer's Voice of Victory and go to and watch in 2006, him and Gloria talking about the manifestation of the blessing. You can Google that. You can Google that. And in there, he says he broke the curse of the law and the blessing started to flow. And I'm telling you what, folks, that's how it works. And number three is have the blessing spoken over you on a regular basis. Find a preacher, a priest, God authorized the priest to speak these blessings. In play, if your father doesn't do it, the priest can do it for you. But you've got to find a priest or a pastor or a minister who will do it for you. As far as I know, there's not too many you can get a hold of who will do that for you because they don't know about it. That's why our partners are so blessed. Share this video with everybody you know. Three steps to become wealthy. I am determined you're going to live a curse-free life. Make sure you call me today if you need prayers answered. And make sure, please, that you call me when you do your offerings and donations. Because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you.